Ethereum is a type of digital currency, often known as a cryptocurrency, which is a medium of exchange that exists solely on the internet. Ethereum is one of the most popular cryptocurrencies, and it ranks second in terms of total market capitalization, after only Bitcoin, which has become synonymous with cryptocurrency. From those who praise cryptocurrency as the world's next payment system to those who believe it is nothing more than a speculative bubble, there has been a lot of debate around cryptocurrency. Disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. The video is for informational and educational purposes only. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Entrepreneurship Academy. In today's video, we are going to talk about everything you need to know about Ethereum. So without further ado, let's get into it. What is Ethereum? Ethereum is one of literally thousands of cryptocurrencies that have sprouted up in recent years, many of which are still under development. Ethereum, the brainchild of eight co-founders, first appeared on the scene in 2015. Ethereum is the name of the cryptocurrency or platform, while Ether is the name of the particular unit of currency. Ethereum is based on a decentralized computer network, also known as a distributed ledger, or a blockchain, which is in charge of managing and tracking the cryptocurrency. Think of a blockchain as a running record of every transaction that has ever occurred in the crypto ecosystem at any given time. Computers connected to the network check the transactions and ensure that the data is accurate and complete. The decentralized network that Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies operate on is one of their primary attractions. A central intermediary such as a bank is not required for money exchange, and the absence of such a central bank means that the currency is practically autonomous. The Ethereum blockchain also provides a means for users to conduct transactions in a nearly anonymous manner, even if the transaction is made public on the blockchain. While the entire field is referred to in terms of currency, it may be more useful to conceive of cryptocurrency as a token that may be spent for a specific purpose made possible by the Ethereum platform rather than as currency. Sending money, as well as purchasing and selling items, are just a few of the functions made possible by the coin. However, Ethereum is capable of much more, and it can also serve as the foundation for smart contracts and other applications. What does Ethereum do? Ethereum can power a number of applications offering a wide range of functions. Currency. With a cryptocurrency wallet, you can send and receive Ether, as well as pay for products and services, assuming the digital currency is accepted as payment for such items and services. Some digital currency providers, such as Coinbase, even allow you to keep custody of your money in a digital wallet, making them less vulnerable to hackers, at least in principle. Smart Contracts. Smart contracts are a type of permissionless app that automatically executes when the contract's criteria are met. Smart contracts are becoming increasingly popular. DApps. Ethereum is used to power digital apps that allow users to do things like play games, invest, send money, maintain an investment portfolio, and keep up with social media. Non-fungible tokens, NFTs, using smart contracts, these tokens, which are powered by Ethereum, can enable artists and others to sell paintings or other things directly to purchasers. Decentralized finance, DeFi. By using Ethereum, some people may be able to bypass centralized, government, control over the transfer of money or other assets. Rather than thinking of Ethereum as a cryptocurrency that allows users to send money to one another, it could be more realistic to consider it as a token that powers numerous applications. Where do Ether coins come from? Currently, as of January 2022, there are more than 119.3 million Ether in circulation. While new Ether coins can be mined, there is a yearly issuance limit. Unlike Bitcoin, where only 21 million coins can be mined and new issues become more difficult every year. In contrast to Dogecoin, where issuance is entirely endless. The network's computers, mine, Ether and other cryptocurrencies. They do math to unlock coins or fractions of coins. But that's changing. In order to create new currency and validate transactions, both Bitcoin and Ethereum require proof of work. It's a costly, time-consuming procedure that might jam the network. So the Ethereum developers chose to switch to a proof-of-stake approach, dubbed Ethereum 2.0. The new system makes currency generation tough. Instead, owners stake their crypto assets to confirm transactions. Stakers risk losing money if they verify transactions that violate Ethereum's rules. The switchover and the burning of transaction fees are expected to cause a deflationary cycle, pushing the coin to surge. Is Ethereum a good investment? Ethereum's value has increased dramatically over the last few years, resulting in huge gains for investors who purchased and held the cryptocurrency in the past. However, 
Rather than focusing on yesterday's price movements and being concerned about missing out, it is crucial to comprehend what you are investing in. Therefore, those who purchase Ethereum are purchasing a cryptocurrency that is unbacked by any physical assets or cash flow. That may seem insignificant, but it is the most significant distinction between stocks and cryptocurrencies. Because a stock represents fractional ownership in a company, the performance of a stock over time is determined by the continued success of that company. If a company's profit increases, it is likely that its stock price will increase in tandem with that increase over time. Stockholders have a legal ownership stake in the assets and cash flow of that business. Ethereum, on the other hand, as well as the majority of other prominent cryptocurrencies, is backed by absolutely nothing. The only thing keeping the price of crypto stable is the optimism of other investors, all of whom believe they will be able to sell the cryptocurrency for a higher price in the future to someone else a concept known as the greater fool theory of investing. Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies are only being driven higher by speculative demand. But, at the same time, they are significant in the future due to the blockchain technology and the concept of decentralization. So investing in Ethereum is more of a personal opinion rather than a question. If you believe in decentralized finance, then Ethereum is a good investment to make. But, if you are not sure about it, then you must do your due diligence before making any investment. Should you buy or mine Ethereum? In order to speculate on Ethereum, all you have to do is purchase and trade the cryptocurrency on a popular trading site such as Robinhood or Binance, which are both free to use. US. Market access is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and there is plenty of liquidity, which means you may transact without the price moving much. The profit calculation is straightforward as well. When you sell coins for more than you purchased for them, you make a profit. If you're thinking of mining Ethereum, you need to approach the process from the perspective of a business owner. The mining rigs that will be required to produce the cryptocurrency will be expensive, and you will have to spend considerable sums of money on electricity to run them while they are being mined. In order to determine whether or not it makes financial sense for you to make the initial investment and keep your organization running, you'll need to do the numbers. In other words, you want to acquire coins that are worth more than the amount of money you spent mining them. Because Ethereum's validation system has changed, would-be miners must ensure that the profit is still there before proceeding. In the end, it is less difficult and time-consuming to purchase Ethereum than it is to mine it. If you are interested in making money mining cryptocurrencies, you should do your research to ensure that the numbers add up correctly. What do you think about Ethereum? Will it be possible to reach $5,000 even though it is now trading at roughly $2,393? Please let us know in the comment sections down below. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you liked this video? If so then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Thanks for watching.